My name is Joel and I've created this YouTube channel to help you learn math. This video is part of a series where I'll be working through every single exercise in an algebra textbook from the year 1896. The reason I'm doing that is because it has problems in it that won't be in your textbook uh, and because they're open source I can use the problems uh, in a video like this and work through them step by step uh, whereas the most modern textbooks are still under copyright. Uh, so for that reason, I hope this is helpful for you. If you want to look at the beginning of the series, just look at the playlist um, that this is part of. So um, I'm going to start here. This is um, the second half of exercise one, which is covering word problems uh, that deal with uh, subtraction. So just like we did in that first video, we're going to want to um, name the number that we know the least amount as our variable, and we're going to build off of that variable with the rest of the information, and then make a equation. Uh, so here, number eight, find two numbers such that their difference is 250, and one is 11 times the other. So one, that's the number we know the least about, we'll make that our variable x. The other one is 11 times. So that's our two numbers. We know that difference means minus, and is means equal, and that's our answer. So um, always taking the biggest number in the simple algebra stuff, 11x minus x is equal to 250. 11x minus x is 10x is equal to 250. Divide both sides by 10. We get x over here, divide by 10. 250 divided by 10, x is equal uh, to 25. And now that we know what one of the numbers is, we go back and plug it in here, and we need to find 11 times 25. 11 times 25 is equal to 275. And you can go back and plug that all in to make sure that works out. 275 minus 25 is equal to 250. So that works, and that gives us our two numbers, 275 and 25. All right. Number nine. James gathered 12 quarts of nuts more than Henry gathered. How many did each gather if James gathered three times as many as Henry? All right. So we're going to find the person in this case that we know the least amount about, which is Henry. So we make that our variable x for Henry. James gathered uh, 12 more than Henry. Um, so that can be x plus 12. Uh, and then, let's see, we have James and Henry. I believe that's it. Okay. So 12 plus x. How many did they each gather um, if James gathered three times as many as Henry? And that's another one. Where we at it? James gathered three times as many as Henry. Okay. So we can do 3x minus x gives us 12. Because if we have um, James here who had three times as many, you take away. Um, the amount that Henry got, and we're left with 12. That's our difference. Okay, 3x minus x is 2x. 12, x is equal to 6 when you do 12 divided by 2. So that is Henry. And then we, uh, the question actually answers how, how many did each gather. So we need both. Henry gathered 6. James gathered 12 more, so 6 plus 12. James got 18. Okay, and you can check that. James gathered 12 quarts more, so is 18 12 more than 6? Yes, it is. And is 6, um, is 18 3 times 6? Yes, it is. So that one works out. You know, you, you won't go wrong as long as you're going in here and uh, double checking your work. Number 10, a house costs $2,880 more than a lot of land. And five times the cost of the lot equals the cost of the house. What is the cost of each? All right, again.
again, we're going to go in here and find what is the thing we know the least amount, uh, the, the, the least information about, and it's the lot of land. So we'll make that our x. The lot of land is x. Um, 5 times the lot is the house, so we make that 5x. Okay, so we just got the two things in there, and we go ahead and build our equation. 5x, that's the thing we know the most about, minus because um, our keyword there is more, gives us a clue that we're looking for a minus uh, subtraction thing, more or difference, and you'll start to see some more of those keywords. Minus x is equal to 2880. Eight, okay, so this house is $2,880 more than the lot of land. So these two things together, um, this is the house, take away the lot of land, and we're left with the 288 more. Okay, and now we can go ahead and solve it out. 5x minus x is 4x. Uh, is equal to 2880. We divide both of them by 4, and x is $720. Okay, and we can plug that back into the lot of land. And if we want the cost of the house, we know it's 5x. So 720 times 5 is 3600. Uh, sorry about that. It's thirty six hundred. All right, and you can go back and check your work. Um, seven twenty times five is three sixty, and um, it's also if you add these um two up, uh, we get seven twenty and uh, thirty six hundred is. Um, I'm sorry, 3600 take away 720 is your uh, 2880. Um, so double check your work and it all works out. Okay, number 11. Mr. A is 48 years older than his son, but he's only three times as old. How old is each? We don't, we, we know the least amount about the son, so we'll make that the variable. And he is. Um, Mr. A is three times as old, and he's older. Older than is our keyword for um, subtraction. So the total age of Mr. A, take away the age of his son, leaves us with the 48 years older that he is. 3x minus x is 2x. Divide them both by 2 and x is equal to 24. So 24 is the age of the sun. <coughs> 24 times 3 for uh, Mr. A is 72. So 24 years old and 72 years old. And you can go back and double check. Um, is 24 3 times, uh, is 72 3 times uh, 24? Yes. Um, and is it 48 years older? Yes. So we're good for that one. All right, keep on going through. Number 12. Two farms differ by 250 acres, and one is six times as large as the other. How many acres in each? All right, the one that we know the least amount about is one, and the other one is six times. That one's pretty easy. Keyword here. Differ means subtraction, and they differ by 250. So we're going to take the bigger, take away the smaller, and we're left with the difference, 250. 6x minus x is 5x equals 250. I'm just going to go ahead over here. I've got more space. Um, divide both sides by 5, <coughs> and x is equal to 50. Is the smaller how many acres in each? So if that's the smaller, um, circle that one. We want uh, six times. 
plug that in, um, 50 times 6 is equal to 300. So those are two answers. One of them is 50 acres, and the other is 300 acres. Okay. Number 13. William paid eight times as much for a dictionary as for a rhetoric. Um, <laughs> I think back in 1896, rhetoric meant like a, a grammar book. Uh, if the difference in price was $6.30, how much did they pay for each? Difference is our keyword for subtraction. We know the least amount of information about rhetoric, so we'll make that our x. Eight times as much is dictionary, so we'll build on um, dictionary based on what we know least about 8x. So take the bigger number, 8x, take the smaller number, x, and we're left with a difference of $6.30. 8x minus x is 7x is equal to $6.30. And then we're going to divide both uh, sides by 7. $6.30 divided by 7 is $0.90. Cents. I'm going to put the dollar sign. All right. Now we need to know how much the dictionary cost, and that was 8 times as much. So $0.90 cents times 8 is $7.20. Those are two answers. Number 14, the sum of two numbers is 4,256, and one is 37 times as great as the other. What are the numbers? Okay, so one, we know the least about, 37 times. That one's just pretty self-explanatory, as great as the other. What are the numbers? So we have 37x. sum of two numbers. Okay, so 37x plus x. And that should be our keyword there. We're not actually doing um, subtraction. Don't get tricked in a long string of subtraction problems. Now we have a addition problem. The sum of two numbers is 4,256. 4, so 1 is 30 times as great as the other. So 37x plus x is equal to Four, two, five, six. Sorry, I got cut off there a little bit. Let me move it over. There you go. Um, all right. So we actually have 38x. It's 4256. And so 4256 divided by 38. x is equal to 112. I used the calculator. Um, and then 112 times 37, um, the other is 4,144. So that one's not super tricky, uh, but it's nice to have a calculator if you're allowed to use it. All right, number 15. Alec has 48 cents more than Arthur, and seven times Arthur's money equals Alex. How much has each? All right, the least amount of information we know about is Arthur, we're going to make him X, and Alec is uh, 48, 48X, um, more than, more than is a keyword for subtraction, so we know we're going to take the bigger number, 48X, take away the smaller number, and we're left with 48 cents. Oops, sorry about that. That's 7x. Um, the 7 times Arthur's money. So 7x minus x. Uh, we're left with uh, 6x is equal to 48. Divide both sides by um, 6. So x is 8, and that's how much Arthur has. And Alec. times 7 is 56 cents. And you can always go back and check. 48 cents more uh, is um, 56, 48 cents more than 8. Yes, it is. And it's also 7 times as much. So 
You got your double check there, and you're good. All right, number 16. The sum of the ages of a mother and daughter is 32 years, and the age of the mother is seven times that of the daughter. What is the age of each? Sum of the age of the mother and daughter is 32. The age of the mother is seven times that of the daughter. So we know the least amount of information about the daughter will make her x. And we know that mother is 7x. The sum, again, that's our keyword that we know is addition. So mother 7x plus the daughter is x. Both of them together is 32. Okay, so 8x is equal to 32. Divide 32 by 8, and x is equal to 4. And we also need to know the daughter. Uh, that is the daughter. We also need to know the mother. That's 7x right over here. Daughter is 4, uh, 4 times 7, 28, which is also um, 28 plus 4 is 32. So that's your double check. All right, last one in this exercise, number 17. John's age is 3 times that of Mary, and he is 10 years older. What is the age of each? John is three times of Mary. So Mary, we know the least about, we'll make her X. John is three times, we'll make that three X. And he is 10 years older. Okay, so we'll take the, um, the bigger age, three X, take away Mary's age, X, and we're left with 10. Our keyword there is um, whether well, he's older. Okay, three X minus X is two X equals 10 x is equal to 5. So that's Mary. Mary is 5. And if he's 3 uh, times older, John is 15. 15 is both 10 years older and 3 times as old. So that meets both those requirements. Okay. Well, I hope you found this series helpful so far. You're always welcome to leave comments and ask questions, and you can write me at joel at yourtutoronline.com. If you find these videos helpful, please do share them with your classmates and teachers. And I wish you all happy studying until we can uh, meet again for exercise number two. Thank you so much.